What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here as always as we hang out and actually we got a couple of objectives in front of us. So if you missed the last couple episodes, I've decided to set sort of like end game parameters since there are none inside the game right now. I've decided to set them so that we can work on other things. So what we want to do is we've got to heal ourselves because our arm is still broken. We want to finish our house. And then we want to find a whale. So those are going to be the three things that I want to accomplish before we quit the game. Now, I did find a whale. It was over by our house, but then it just sort of, like, left. It abandoned us in a very, very magical way. I've never been abandoned so magically. At the same time, it was still very, very clearly abandonment. It, it hurt. It stung a little bit. My heart was broken briefly. But for right now, there are things for us to accomplish. And so there are wrecks to be dived. There are all kinds of things for us to procure. And so let us be on and about that, shall we? I think the first place that I want to start when looking for anything that might be helpful out here... Let's maybe put ourselves up a tree real fast. I think I handled all of my vitals before we started off. I cooked all the shark meat. I made sure that we had buckets full of water. All of that fun stuff. It disappoints me that the buckets don't fill with water when you leave them out in the rain. I wish that they would. I really sincerely do. I wish that they would. Can you get on top of the tree? Oh, you can. That's crazy. Okay, now you're just doing crazy talk. You could climb a tree, but if you get on top of it, that's just too far. It's far, it's too much for right now. It's just too much for Splattercat. Let's climb back down the tree in the attempt to not, like, snap our legs like horrible little twigs. And I think that for right now, what I want to do is let's just do kind of like a wide circle around the island. So let's see here. Oh my god, Jon Stewart is leaving The Daily Show? Windows 8.1. Thank you so much for that right now. I appreciate you letting me know that Jon Stewart is leaving The Daily Show in the middle of my episode. I just got Windows 8.1 and I have no idea how it works. Clearly, Windows has come up with all new and obtrusive and obnoxious ways to irritate you while you work on other things. And I just learned about one of them. So welcome to Splattercat's Nerd Castle, where professionality reigns and Windows 8.1 does whatever the hell it wants. Yeah, I just I built this computer a little bit ago, like a couple weeks ago, and Windows 8.1 is still surprising me with all of its random shenanigans for right now. I, unfortunately, am not really aware of most of them. Let's continue to have a look around. It is raining quite nastily right now. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to do away with that, and I'm hoping that there will be sort of like, I don't know, things you have to do when it rains in order to take care of that. You know how Don't Starve has kind of like a rain meter? I'm not saying that I want a rain meter, because it wouldn't fit for this tone of game. But, what I think it would do is it would serve to flush you into hiding spots and things like that. And while I don't like being flushed, not necessarily because being flushed is unpleasant, it's just that it sort of entails that I'm something worthy of being flushed. Namely, what gets flushed in this life? Hmm, shit, and various other refuse. Anyways, back to the point. I forgot what I was talking about now, and my brain is starting to hurt. Great. It looks like we actually don't have that many more wrecks here, which is... A little bit damaging. It's a little bit saddening. I think we're also having trouble seeing a lot of the bubble spots right now. There should be a couple out here somewhere. I don't know if they lowered the draw distance on them or what they did with the bubble spots, but they're so difficult to see now by comparison to what they were like when the game first started up. They patched something and the bubble spots are different now. I can tell you that much, faux surely. There's one right there, I think. Maybe? Are you a bubble spot? No, you're just a mirage. Just throwing me off for right now. Oh, good. My boat is going to kick me off, too. Little things like that need to be looked at and fixed as well. Just random little trouble spots with the engine and the way that it works. I... Well, the rain's going to go, and that might give us a better chance. It might give us a worser chance, too. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Sometimes the sun makes things better. Sometimes it makes it worse. Eh. I stopped questioning it. And what's really sort of insulting is how easy it is to see the bubbles at night. But it's too dark to wreck dive. I mean, with a lantern, it's kind of risky. It's easy to get lost. Also, with this color palette shift thing that it does as you're floating around, it needs to stop that as well. Like, that right there. How it does it just, like, over and over and over again. Well, I know that there's spots... What are you doing right now? Like, put me back on the boat, please. What are you doing right now? Kicking me off the boat over and over and over again. Well... Until later in the day, I suppose we could acquire some palm fronds, since that was, like, the ultimate mission here. However, I wanted to wreck dive that last wreck over here. There was three of them. There's one over there, and there's two over here. That island actually looks fairly close. If, actually, if there's still a southward island, and in all honesty, we could just, like, bypass all this. 
and just go south further until we find something more useful. Let's try that. Let me grab my just rudimentary supplies here. We just want like the lighter, the hammer we don't need, the machetes we have, the flare we don't really need either. Let's go ahead and just like grab anything else that I wanted to bring along. Do we still have our compass? We do not have our compass, unfortunately. Where did I leave the compass? Ooh, that's troublesome. What did I do with it? Oh, that's not good at all. That is bad in many, many different and special shiny ways. What the hell did I do with the compass? I threw it over here somewhere. It's around. We'll find it. It's not that. There it is. I think it's over here with the paddle and all the other stuff. There we go. All better. We have a lot of axes and things. That's pretty incredible how many axes we have. And since the axes stacks, I figure I'll, uh, I figure I'll bring them with me. I almost said I finger I'll bring them with me, but that's not even a saying. That's just odd. Let's see if there's anything straight to the south, because if we just keep going south, it it begs to be mentioned that we could just like go north to find our way home. And it just makes our life easier in terms of navigation. Let's see here. So if there's anything... There was a toolbox down in there that had a flashlight, but sort of had trouble locking it in for right now. Well, we've got something due straight west. I wish there was something to the south, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to take a chance on it. It's okay. We know where we're coming from. We know that we have to go like completely and totally south from right here. I guess I'm sorry, north from right here. So we'll travel back from this place. Then we'll go north. Hopefully we'll find some wrecks out here somewhere. One of which will allow us to complete our primary objective of fixing our boo-boos. There's actually, I saw bubbles here. I saw their bubblies and then they disappeared. Oh no, that's a shark. Never mind. Never mind. That's no fun. I don't want to be involved with that at all. Yeah, they need to make the water contrast a little bit different so you can see the bubbles again. Because as of right now, it's almost impossible to see the bubbles during parts of day that like... In just certain parts of day, it's like, yeah, you're not seeing any bubbles right now. Have fun with that. And so then you're forced to just like travel to new islands where there are thing be things like, Ooh, this is a big island over here. I'd also be interested to see if they introduce like a circular world where you could go around in a circle sort of like you can in Salt. But then again, is that a whale? What is that right there? Oh, it's a boat. Never mind. I was going to say, that's a very lopsided, unhealthy-looking whale if that's a whale. I don't think that that's the way that I want to introduce whaleitude to our series. A little bit depressing. A little bit depressing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to beach this right here. Such that it's facing back the way that we came. To right there. There we go. All right use it as my pointing device for right now and let's hope that we locate ourselves some morphine because if we can't find that we're just going to go about this whole thing in just a ridiculous crippled damaged state another stupid flashlight that we don't need all right well the flashlight is utterly worthless to me right now there was another wreck there it is it's sticking up out of the water and i still can't seem to make hide nor head nor tails of it regardless of the body part or location on the body i still can't seem to find it does this actually have treasure in it this doesn't seem like the sort of wreck that's actually going to have anything for me. Yeah, except for maybe a sea urchin to stab me and poison me again, which was fun. That was enjoyable. Thanks for that, oceanic creatures. I appreciate your contribution to this adventure. Those giant boiling pustules, those buboes, those weeping nasty wounds that you left my body with. I appreciate it. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. We're going to swim out this way and see what we can find. This is just like a little troller over here. It's not big on the trolling. It's only little on the trolling. But occasionally it gets out into the internet. It gets out there and it tries to make people who believe other things very, very angry. Because if you can't do that on the internet, why bother? Let's sprint on over. Well, this doesn't really much count as sprinting. There's also a shark behind the boat in case you didn't notice. Definitely a shark boat. So... In climbing the best I can up onto the rear end of the ship here, we can open that hatch too, so always remember there's a hatch right there. So if you're disappointed with your ill-begotten gains, or I guess I suppose this would be well-begotten gains since nobody else needs them. Anyways, if you're not happy with your take on a particular wreck, you should always check for little hatches and things because they do have them from time to time. Yeah, there he is right there. I was going to say, I know, there's, I know there's a whale out here or a shark out here somewhere that I'm going to have to deal with in a second. He's just looking around, but... I'd rather keep an eye on him. Let's dive down below deck and see what we can find here. I actually don't know. Yeah, I should check and see if that's escapable before I do it because this is one of those boat models that can get you into trouble. 
Bucket full of seawater. Don't do nothing for me. A locker with even more. Oh, a propeller. Yes, that does something for me. It propels me. We've got a flare with a hard case right there. But no morphine. Our mission remains unaccomplished, unfortunately. I'll take the buckets of seawater because later on we can boil these and get some water out of them. So I have to do the whole, like, coconut dance. Hey! Hey! Why are you being so aggressive right now, shark? I've never bothered you ever. If you want to fight, we can do battle. We can do battle right now. I promise you I'm better at it. You're better at swimming and fleeing, which is amazing because from what I understand, fleas don't like being underwater. But I'm gonna... Protect me, brain anemone! Protect me! From this nasty, sharky nuisance. Eh. Is sharky even a word? There we go. We got him. We got him. Mission accomplished. Well done, everybody. Well done. I think I spied, with my little eye, another wreck out this way. So if I can get back up on the deck of this thing, we might be able to get out there. Is there still a shark around? Because I'm pretty sure I killed the last one. Fairly positive my exploits in de-sharkificating. Oh yeah, there's another one right there. Well, damn it, sharks. Damn it. Why won't you just let me have this for right now? I don't see anything out. There was one over there, but I can't see it with the weird fade effect that they have going on off in the distance. I've never noticed the ocean to be, like, weirdly fuzzy off in the distance, but this game does it, so... I don't know. We'll stick with it for right now. I can't promise that this is going to be the most lucrative of episodes right now. Simply based on the fact that we're having trouble locking down Rex. Having trouble locking down Rex. And so I think... Oh, shit, I don't know at all. Either way, the water color is conducive to wreck hunting right now, so let's try and get on it. We're going to be in trouble once our handy-dandy little meter watch that tells us all of our weaknesses and strengths goes away. Hopefully it, like, recharges from sunlight or something, because as of right now, if it decides to abandone us, this whole thing is going to become unpleasant very, very rapidly. See nothing over there. Nothing off in that direction. God, just the string of islands that we've had so far, they're all worthless to me. Morphine must be really hard to come by because I've only ever seen morphine like once. One time in all the times that I've played the game. We've got one of the lovely unkillable great whites out there. Oh yeah, there's a wreck out there. Right next to the great white shark. Oh no, that's the wreck that we were already at. Never mind. Well, we could take a chance out here and just go for the wreck that's way out there and see if we could make it work. I don't have a problem with it. If you don't have a problem with it, we can ride on out there and see what's, you know, to be gained. I didn't see this wreck. Then again, it doesn't have bubbles coming up, so I suppose that it might be a little bit more difficult to see than some of the other ones. Let's go for it. I think we're going to try. Let me get up on deck right here and see if maybe I can lock down where this thing's at. They need to put a climbing thing into the game when you're in the water so that if you come up against another hard clipping object, God, they really, really, really need to increase the visibility of the bubbles. Because as of right now, I find myself doing a lot, and I mean a lot of peering. And while I hope to one day be a member of the peerage, I think that's one right there. I can't tell though. We're going to have to swim out and investigate before we can go any further. There is a bottom of the ocean in this game, by the way. It just gets kind of like dark and murky down there. It gets dark and murky very, very quickly, so... You know, if you're not sure you can navigate it, I'd say to avoid the risk. Don't even try. There you go, your splatter, <laughs> your splatter cat advice for the day. Don't even try. Damn, well, that's going to be another worthless island that we've been to, so I guess I'll head back. Let's try and find another one. Alright, well we came back and I rested and I cooked up some more shark and we got some stuff done right here. There you go. There's our roasted shark fin for later just in case we gotta eat that. For right now, however, let me dump off some of this random stuff that I've picked up from various locations. We're gonna try and stick to cardinal directions right now because we know if we go north from here it takes us all the way home. It's gonna be a long ride, but we can get there. And so for as of right now, I'm going to try and stick to cardinal directions, and I want to go to the west, to this island over here. So join me for a boat ride, hopefully we'll see a whale, and if we see a whale, we can have a whale tale to tell for everybody else that comes around. I don't know, I mean, like, you remember that one time that we went on an adventure, we found a whale, and then we sang the whale song of adventure together? Yeah, you guys haven't heard the whale song of adventure. The whale song of adventure is coming up, I've got it, I've got... I've got it written down. I've got the lyrics worked out already. The Whale Song of Adventure. The Whale Song of Adventure. It's going to be... 
It's gonna be pretty spectacular. It's gonna be pretty fantastic by any measuring stick. By any measuring stick, and I mean any measuring stick. Just bring a measuring stick, and I shall put it next to the Whale Song of Adventure, and it will be wanting. It will be not enough to actually even fathom the awesomeness of the Whale Song of Adventure. So, when we sing the whale, or when we see the whale, we will sing the Whale Song of Adventure in all of its lyrics, with all of its verses, all 38 of them. Let's go ahead and... God, this island is farther away than I expected it to be, but it is in a cardinal direction, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. I like cardinals. They're pretty birds. We don't have them here on the West Coast. We have blue jays. And technically, they're not even blue jays. They're called, like, stellar jays or some dumb shit like that. Like, pedantic people, truly pedantic people will correct you about it. They're like, actually, they're not blue jays. They're actually part of a separate genus. And so if you were to classify the genera, like if you really got into the taxonomy, you would actually call them stellar jays. And it's at that point I'm like, yeah, that's not taxonomy. That's you calling them stellar jays. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bequeath upon me the Latin that you know. And they'd be like, um, well, it's stellar J. So I, I assume that it's probably like stellaris, jaicus, or something like that, you know? I'm like, nope, you're wrong. Completely wrong. I don't know what it is, but you're wrong too, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, island, why can't you be closer? Why can't you why can't you be so much closer to me and lend me your and kick me off of my raft? Mm. It's been happening a lot lately. It's been happening a lot lately. I, I don't know if it's because I got like a bad grip on the raft with my tootsies, but for whatever reason it appears to be co Damn you raft. Don't swim up on the backside of anything with a propeller like this, by the way. That's a horrible plan for your long-term safety. That's like how would you like to lose a toe slash finger slash large chunk of your clavicle today? Everybody, like, well, one or the other, but if they're coming as like a piecemeal package deal, I'd prefer to avoid the removal of any of my major parts. Tell me that chest is closed. Okay, so the chest is open. We got a rainstorm that came in just in time. Some of these are not off-putting bubbles right now. It's okay, though. That's some binos. Because the sky is covered, that actually is going to have interesting ramifications for once the game has planes and other things trying to rescue you. You might hear a plane overhead or like a helicopter and there'll be fog. Oh, how infuriating and just like disheartening would that be? What do we have here? Another flashlight? Okay. So, honestly, the game seems to repeat a lot of the loot and unfortunately none of it's really that useful to us. I may actually try and use the binos to track down anything that's off of our shoreline right now. But I can't promise that this island's going to be lucrative at all. We might end up with nothing. So let's have a look around the periphery of the island. And it does look like we're about to get goose-egged. And, even worse than that, goose-egged and rained upon, which basically means the game gets called on account of rain. I actually think the fog should be reduced on rainy days, just because, like, it makes it so that you have to sit there. I'm sure that it's never a game designer's decision to be like, you know what the game, you know what the player would think would be super fun? is if we sit there and we force them to do nothing for 20 minutes at a time. And then after that, they're not going to have a bed or a house because they're on a different island, so then they're going to have to sit there for another 20 minutes. Doesn't that, doesn't that sound like a blast, Cole? And Cole is like, yeah, that sounds like super fun. Let's implement that right now. We'll make our game so much better. Go ahead and eat some potatoes real fast. Maybe collect some yucca in the off chance that I need to make a bed over here because it's starting to seem like it might happen. I was really hoping that the rainstorm would sort of like piss off for right now. Unfortunately, you hear that sound right there? The game just made like some kind of internal roll to decide if there was still going to be rain, and we failed. So let's go ahead and wait it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video. All right, so we're back in business now. It took I I turned on a timer. It took 14 minutes. For the rain to stop it took so long and i was sitting here it's okay though because it's all going to work out to our benefit in the future because it added a few more like verses to the whale song it's going to be pretty amazing once we find the whale song and sing the whale song of adventure it's going to be incredible and i'm really really excited about it it is going to change our lives forever the world of music watch out randy newman watch out your related weird cheesy songs that you write for disney films you've got a competitor now just be aware i like how it just like spit the I like how it just like spit the flashlight out of the wall. It's like, here's your flashlight. I'm just like, okay, thank you. Flashlight dispenser somehow embedded in the side of island wall. Shark, you better get the hell out of here before I hit you with this. I'm gonna knife you. Do you want to be knifed today? Do you know what that feels like? It doesn't feel knife. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint right there. How dare you, you cartilage covered bastard? Get out! Ow! 
Damn it. We're like in a frenzy right now. A cuddle frenzy. No. Go. They're teaming up on me. This isn't good. They're showing a remarkable amount. They're like the dogs of the sea. They're showing a remarkable amount of coordination right now to like destroy me. It only did half my health and I'm not bleeding, so that's pretty good. How about I leave sharks alone for the next little bit and we go do something else? Does that sound good? I think that sounds pretty good. So we still have like this entire island to scout out for random wrecks and things. And I think that during our wreck time here, our recreation time that is, we should be able to find something good, although I can't promise it because wrecks have been a little bit stingy lately. They have not been so, so forthcoming. I know you're not messing with me still, Shark. Sharks. Zzz. Team Shark. I don't know what's going on with these guys, but they're definitely not being pleasant. Another axe. Okay. I like axes. They help me do my job better, so... I shall take forth of the axe. Then I shall stand upon this wreck. He's like, oh, don't worry about it. That's just my sternum. Stand wherever you want. Make sure to press extra aggressively on my shippy solar plexus. It feels amazing. It feels fantastic. I appreciate your contributions to my otherwise terrible and wrecked life. Is that a great white over there? Or is that a, a whale? I want to sing the whale song of whale appreciation. I think it might be worth investigating. That's a pretty big critter over there. That's a pretty damn big critter. We can, start, we can see it from a long ways off. I've heard that whales are kind of assholes, though, when you're in the sea with them. They, like, poop on you and stuff. That seems unpleasant. I read a Vice article that made it look like a whale could just, like, shit a ridiculous plume of destruction into the ocean. And ever since then, I've been kind of afraid to be behind a shark. Or a whale. Oh, I think that's him. I think that's him. Let's go. Let's go look. If we get lost, I don't care. This is a big thing for me. I want to go sing the... I want to see the whale. Here we go. We got this. Whale. Hold on. We... Uh. Where's my boat? My kingdom for my boat! We've got to go hang out with a whale, and if we get lost at sea, I don't care. I just want to hang out with a whale for a little while. Just a little bit. A whale off in the sea, helping me live my dreams by allowing me to ride upon him. Come here, you big blue bastard. we got a song to sing. Got a song to sing! He was over here, right? I bet it's going to be a great white shark, and it's going to break my heart. No! Sabotage! No! Navigational skills! I call upon you! Unbeach me from this horrible, horrible rocky throne. Alright, where's he at? Where's he at? I saw him. I saw him with my eye hole. No! Don't leave me, Whaley. Don't leave me. He was over here. I think he was over here. Let's go look. You stay the hell away because I don't love you and neither does your mother. Your mother loves me, however. I figured I'd bring that up in retrospect. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings right now, but for real though, me and your mom go way back. We go back like throwback. Is that, what is that? Is that him? Or is that sharks? Sharks, I swear. It's a shark. It's a shark. My life is destroyed right now. It lays in tattered ruins all about my feet. All about my feet. Not all about the base. Neither all about the treble. All about my feet. Well, I think that's where I'm going to break off the episode, our depressingly terrible episode of exploration where we found, like, nothing. I figure I'll come back once I actually find something of note that's worthy of bringing up. Eh. I'll keep looking for morphine and or whales, and if I find them, I'll do my best to save, and then we'll come back. How does that sound? My name is Splattercat. This is Stranded Deep, where we are trying to complete our objectives so that we can, like work on other stuff. Unfortunately, the universe has other plans. I will see you all in future episodes. Take care out there, buddy. Hi-do.